Quackery in the Nigerian media profession, like any other profession, has eaten deep into the health care system in Nigeria. This has led to the Nigerian Medical Association severely calling on the federal government to tackle the issue of quackery, which according to them have revealed the complications from surgery, child delivery to mention but a few. In this report, our correspondent Daily Fasson takes a look at the menace of quackery in Nigeria and the likely consequences. According to statistics from the Nigerian Medical Association, NME, only 24,000 licensed doctors are available in Nigeria, despite a population of over 150 million people. With these statistics and the increased number of doctors seeking greener pastures, the number of quacks will continue to rise unless the federal government's quick intervention some medical practitioners describe the surgeon quackery as becoming endemic in the Nigerian healthcare system. Quackery is, 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 is becoming an epidemic. It's becoming endemic within the set of the Nigerian healthcare system. And like every other vice, if it's not properly checked, it's going to definitely cause more harm than good in the long run because of the numerous effects that it has. It has effects on um, increased mortality and morbidity of patients because people who are not trained to do a specific thing, if given the, the, the stance to go around doing those things, they will definitely cause more harm. These fraudulent activities that is now coming into the medical practice, which is causing, you know, we're making us to raise our eyebrows about quackery, is causing a lot of harm and is going to continue causing more harm. So we need to do something as soon as possible. If not, lives will be lost, and this could be your loved one. You know, it's, it's, today when you hear something on the news, it could just be someone else and you don't really care. But one day it might be your loved one. So we need to ensure that we stop this by any means possible. Quackery in the medical profession is eating deep in the Nigerian system. Uh, this is actually going to cause more harm if not checked by the government. The reason is because quackery in itself essentially entails provision of healthcare services by incompetent individuals, which means individuals who do not have the required qualifications and competency to provide the services that they are providing. They call on the federal government to ensure that policies are put in place to check the trend in preventing increased mortality rate. The federal government first of all have to ensure that through the, all the arms of government, the legislators, the judiciary, that policies are put in place to ensure that there are stem laws with stipulated punishment against uh, uh, quackeries and persons found to be involved in such practices. The federal government they are more or less our only hope. And what I think they can do to, you know, is to ensure that the regulatory bodies are actually active and are in place. Uh, we have the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria, which usually would check hospitals and follow up on licensing and to be sure that they're updated, as well as genuine. So they have a lot of work to do. The government actually has to put in place um, a system that ensures that every individual practicing as a healthcare professional or a physician is licensed by the required authority. Here in Nigeria, we have the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria. So it means every doctor must have the MDCN license that, that, that actually licenses the individual to practice medicine every day. The consequences of having more aid centers and hospitals by quacks in the Nigerian medical practice will definitely lead to increased mortality rates and ailments as a result of unprofessional conduct, which the security agencies, medical regulatory agencies, and the federal government must address in ensuring stability in the Nigerian medical profession. From Warren Delta State, Telefason reporting for Galaxy News.